The state attorney general's office confirms one person is dead, two people were injured, one of them a police officer. This happened early Christmas morning when the train stopped at Lake Street and Pine Street as we reported yesterday. Now today I spoke with a passenger who told me he saw a man acting erratically on board, saw that same man being tased, then heard three rounds of two to three gunshots go off and saw a body under a tarp outside that train for several hours. It was, uh, no, nobody told it, said anything to us. And the only communication I've had on, about it since with Amtrak has been an email uh, saying that I'm going to receive an email to refund my money for the trip. Okay. Which, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it was, it's really interesting, really interesting. And were, you were under the impression that the man died. Oh, he died. What makes you so sure? Because he was laying on the sidewalk outside the train for the whole seven hours we were there. As we were pulling away, I could see all ten toes sticking out from under a sheet. Oh, wow. You were stalled for seven hours with him just laying there. Yeah, the whole train. Carpenter tells me he saw an Amtrak worker taken away by the ambulance. Now, the DOJ's California police shooting investigation team will investigate first, then turn those findings over to the DOJ's special prosecution section for independent review.